much like a Kola Gravatsky, I was waiting for this one a lot too. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's finally going to be here April 10th on ESPN. Joe Smith Jr., who brings in a record of 26 wins, 21 by knockout, and three defeats. He will be taking on Maxim Vlaslav, who brings in a record of 45 wins, 26 by knockouts, also three defeats, for the vacant WBO light heavyweight world title. Funny how the WBO has been vacant here recently, and then there's been just a bunch of bullshit to get in the way of finding out who's champion. Originally, it was going to be Umar Solomov, but then... He, you know, backed out. Then it was Maxim Vlaslov, and then all that shit with COVID happened. Quote, unquote, who knows what really happened, you know? I mean, to me, when, when fighters come out like that, and I'm not trying to disprove all of them, and this could be controver- controversial, but when it's, when it's, you know, when you, especially you're just coming off, and then you're sitting there, you look fine in the fight and all this other stuff, uh, it's, I call it the too fat to fight bug. Too fat to make weight. Or just too fucking lazy and you needed the extra time so that's what i think it is sometimes but i'm not going to discredit everybody because who the fuck am i to do that but this is a 50 50 fight smith has power all fight long he buzzed bival look at i think it was what end of the ninth or tenth round bival had to just close his eyes and he he grit his teeth it was it was a sight to see he got him but You know, he didn't get him out, but Bival was that good. But Vlaslav is so damn tricky. He's so damn tricky. It's like, I don't even, I don't know how to describe his style. It's very, it's unorthodox when it comes to his movement in the ring, but he's very, you know, one, two, and then he'll throw an uppercut and a a hook in there, that that European uh, mid game. I, I just, but if you watch some of his fights, you know, he'll play around and then he'll he'll get down to business. He'll turn it up or he'll turn it up and then he'll start playing around or he'll just take a full round and play the fuck around or whatever without throwing barely any punches. So I think with the aggression of Joe Smith Jr., he may be able to catch Vlaslav, but Vlaslav hasn't been KO'd, you know. So, I mean, he would be the first one, but... I just I don't think that's gonna happen. It could happen. I'm bringing up vari- variables again. This is a this is a pick'em fight. It's fifty fifty fight. It's 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 very much Vlaslav could outbox Joe Smith Jr. He could keep him at a distance. Vlaslav is not the uh, the smaller fighter in this one. He's the taller one, so he's gonna have the range as well, and. We know how boxing does to Joe Smith Jr. with Dmitry Bival, but Vlaslav is no Bival. But can he be for that one night? Yes, he can. Can Vlaslav knock out Joe Smith Jr.? Even though he's fought at Cruiserweight, all that other stuff, I don't think he can. I think uh, besides that one coming up fight where he got TKO'd in the first round, funny how all these power punchers, you know, get TKO'd in the first round. You got Makabu has happened, uh, Machunu and Duradola. I think all these fighters have, have had TKO first round losses earlier in their career, and then they come back as just, just hard-ass power fighters or power punchers. Well, power power. Fighter, all 90s television cartoon, Saturday morning, kids. See, the voices are starting to come back, just little by little. But my pick, my decision, my prediction is Joe Smith Jr. by UD or MD. That's unanimous decision or majority decision. And I know for the sigh... I know that you're thinking, well, how can Joe Smith Jr., a, just a straight-up inside fighter, go the distance without getting picked off too much versus Maxim Vlaslav? Well, I told you Maxim Vlaslav is a, you know, a very awkward fighter. And so, he's going to make some mistakes and get caught. Now, I don't think Joe Smith Jr. will finish him off, but I do think he'll knock him down a couple times. That'll make up for Joe Smith, the lack of Joe Smith Jr.'s boxing. But 
Joe Smith Jr. also beat a pure boxer, well, more of a boxer puncher, sometimes and sometimes not. It's Jesse Hart, depending on whatever the fuck he feels like doing. I mean, he wasn't much of a boxer or a boxer puncher with Joe Smith Jr., but, uh, you know, he beat that boxer in Jesse Hart. But I do think Vlasov is above Jesse Hart. I think Jesse Hart should go back down to one fucking sixty eight and and have some nice fights before all they're all gone by Canelo. Actually, he's pretty fucked in both weights. Man, go to cruiserweight. Now you're fucked there too. I'm not saying the other weight. Fuck that weight. I don't recognize that other weight. Then there's heavyweight. There is no other weight between cruiserweight and heavyweight. Anyways, moving on. I just think Smith Jr. will knock down. Uh, Maxim Vlaslav a couple times to make up for his boxing deficiencies and will eke out a win. And the reason why I say majority decision is you don't know how the judges are thinking, but since they're pushing for that Artur Beterbiev fight, I'm leaning more towards the unanimous decision. And it's just... That's my pick. I And... I know a lot of people are picking Joe Smith Jr., but this is it's actually very hard for me to pick this fight. You know, like with with uh with Dillian White and Povetkin too, I had Dillian with eleventh round KO or TKO, uh similar to the Chizoro second fight. Just wearing him down with that awkward ass jab, the ugly footwork, and then get lucky with a shot and walk him and, and, and knock out. But Povetkin was just Drained his shit, and you know, White got his win back. But with this, this 50 50 fight, it, it, it to me, it, it really is because stylistically, Maxim could honestly box him. I hate to go back to this, this makes me sound like a fucking broken record, but Maxim can box Joe Smith to a victory. I don't think a KO victory or TKO, but I think a victory. But I think with Smith Jr.'s just his 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 nonstop fucking engine, I think he he'll get it done, knock him down at least once, at least once, and secure the decision. Now, like I said, with Artur Beterbiev, one you know, Joe Smith Jr. versus Artur Beterbiev being talked about, I think it will be the unanimous decision over the majority, just to make it look better. You know, I mean, Russia got it right with their scorecards with the uh, Tabisa Machunu Tishchenko fight, which I was very surprised. I was very surprised how wide they were. It was it was a shocker. But over here in America, <laughs> judges be fucking up all the damn time. Anyways, I hope uh, you all have a good one. Many good ones. All the good ones that you can handle and more. Take it easy, everybody. Later.